Hi guys, this is Jessica Cross from jessicacrossasmr.com and I just want to jump in here quickly this afternoon. I know not many people will catch this live because I wasn't able to tell anybody. I wasn't sure I was going to have time, so uh, I am catching a few minutes here because I wanted to give you the next update. You guys seem to enjoy the business talk last time. So uh, what I think I'm going to do is give you guys sort of an idiot's guide to my business. I'm not a business guru because I do not have a, uh, a business that supports me yet, but I figured I'd take you along the journey. And most likely some of you who are really tech savvy and have a lot more time than I do will far surpass su far surpass me and uh, especially if you catch them in a row down the road when hopefully I had a successful business um, but I wanted to kind of show you what I'm doing and I wanted to give you guys a challenge so here is my challenge if you are anything like me the idea of running a business is a little bit terrifying so I am going to give you a, a challenge from, from my point of view um, and the challenges that I go through uh, in running a business. And that is that when I listen to business material, I get very overwhelmed. And so I'm going to give you a challenge that will hopefully overcome some of that. I talked last video about Pat Flynn, who... I love and I think you guys will love too. I think it's also his voice. He has a very um, gentle demeanor and voice and so I think for the ASMR community he's a wonderful business guru. So for any of you who have ever thought about running a business you should check out Pat Flynn. He, his main site is smartpassiveincome.com and the one thing I would say is if you have ever thought of running a business, if you've ever wanted to work from home, if you've ever not wanted to go into an office, uh, he is a great guy for you to listen to, but also think about that quite a bit before you really pursue uh, being an entrepreneur because the idea of working from home can sound wonderful. The reality of it is not always as great because uh, you don't interact with other people. And for many of us in the ASMR community who are already introverts, some of the only people we interact with is at work. And so it will really limit your sphere of the people you work with, at least for a while while you're getting started. And so you want to think about that. I've worked from home for the past seven years and I have coworkers that I've met some of them on retreats, but we all work virtually. So uh, email is really the only contact I have with them right now, sometimes phone calls. And that works well for me, but it definitely doesn't for everyone. So really think about it before you do. But if it still is intriguing to you, here's my challenge. I'm going to show you the website that is really making a difference for me. So let me go on here and get there. Okay, so here we go. This is, let's share it. Let's actually share it. Okay, so this is the website I spent uh, the first few weeks that I really started working on my business going through. It is called the One Day Business Breakthrough with Pat Flynn and Chris Ducker. Uh, I like Chris Ducker's voice too. Uh, I think it's the accent. Uh, although he can be a little bit harsh, but part of, I kind of like that. I like the practical part of that. And uh, this is a podcast if you scroll down to the bottom, this is the app that, um, or the, I think it's a plugin rather than an app, uh, that Pat Flynn has created for his podcasts. And 
there is sadly only 26 of them and they have not made them in about a year while Pat was making his, uh, writing his book, uh, Will It Fly, which just recently came out. But I went back through and listened to all 26 of these. They're not too long. They're about 15 minutes to a half hour. And so it's not daunting to listen to them. And what I would suggest is that you force yourself to not do anything. And it's very tempting to listen to the podcasts and then want to jump right in and start creating a website or try uh, doing keyword searches and all those other things. Um, that's Pat Flynn and Chris Ducker. And I am challenging you to not do that, to have a journal next to you and write down notes, but to just listen. And if you, like me, get overwhelmed from the idea of, of making a business, I think taking the pressure off by not allowing yourself to do anything makes it easier. I really would say take a month and just listen to podcasts. Um, so this is, I'll go to smartpassiveincome.com. Um, and that's another place where you can go after you've listened to the first, his other website. If you go to the podcast, that will also let you access the one day business breakthrough. This is his new updated site. And if you go on there and just listen for a month and take notes, don't even let yourself try to start anything. I think it takes the pressure off and you will be hard pressed not to want to start a business and not feel jazzed to start a business after listening to those. So what I would say is start with one day business breakthrough, then move to ask Pat, which is uh, I think a little less overwhelming than smart passive income. Smart passive income is interviews a lot with um, already successful people in the field. And that's always a little overwhelming to me because they're often using, using jargon. I don't know. And, and things like that. So that is my challenge to you. I would also ask you to go down to the description box for my video and go and uh, sign up for my Jessica Cross ASMR community Facebook page. And then we can talk in there about what's working, what's not working. I also want to show you a few other things that I've done this week. So Gumroad I talked about last week. Uh, and I've put a lot of my MP3s on here. And I just wanted to show it to you because you guys seem to like that. So this is Gumroad. And so the big change is I actually have made some sales. So now I have, uh, now I actually have a dashboard. And the great thing about the dashboard is I can see how many views I have, how many sales I have, but more importantly, where they came from. So I can see what's working and what's not working. So if I click on views, like I can see Facebook brings a whole lot of people to my Gumroad, but uh, they don't purchase because I actually ran a Facebook ad. I'll talk about ads and stuff at some point too, but not today. Um, it's actually just my Gumroad profile where people are buying from. So, and it's pretty much like one person who's made four purchases, but I'm happy with that because that pays for Gumroad for the month. Gumroad is $10 a month. So as long as I'm breaking even, I'm a happy camper. Uh, you can also go into your audience and find out a little bit uh, about, you know, what they're doing. Not a whole bunch, but you could see what they're, what they're purchasing and things like that. And I have found tracking is the biggest thing that I need to do. And then, so this is my, this is my profile. I'll just show you quick. Um, and this is apparently what is getting people to buy so far. Uh, and this is what people see when they go on. So I can't scroll down. Okay, here we go. My computer's running really slow. So these are all the things that I'm selling on here. 
I have a couple down at the bottom, which you can make uh, add in your own price. So people can get them for free if they want, or they can pay a little bit if they want, or they can pay a whole lot if they want. Uh, so that is Gumroad. And then I want to show you the other fabulous thing that I did. So I need to say a thank you to Diana Dew, uh, if you guys know her. Uh, a few years ago, I started putting some of my MP3s on Amazon through Create Space. I'll show you guys Create Space at some point too, if you want. And then Create Space decided to no longer carry MP3s. So they now have my CDs and my books on there under Jessica Cross, but they do not have MP3s because Create Space doesn't do them anymore, which made me very, very sad because that's the main place I was making any kind of income. And so I was griping about it, I think, on Twitter, and Diana Dew said, I use DistroKid. So I signed up about a year, exactly a year ago, actually, as of yesterday, with DistroKid. And you can upload MP3s. So if you have your own ASMR channel, this is where you can upload. It's very easy. Things go out. Oh, that's new. You can now... Um, change the price. That's brand new. Uh huh. Okay, cool. So this is how you can upload things. Um, this is all of my music. It's very easy. Things go out to Spotify. They go to uh, Amazon. They go to iTunes. They go to lots Google Plus and lots of these other little places. They go on YouTube, all over the place. So, but when I originally signed up, I signed up for the cheapest rate, which was like $15 a year, which is fabulous because before that I had something on CD Baby and it was $50 just for one album and then you couldn't make any changes to it. So I was mad about CD Baby, um, but I wanted to try it. And then what I just did is I upgraded to the $40 a year package. And so now I get statistics. And like I said, statistics seem to be what I was missing in the past as I wasn't sure what was working, what wasn't working because I wasn't tracking it. So this will tell you how many sales you've made. I don't think it's, it's not entirely accurate because I think it only tracks albums not individual songs so it just shows you how many you're selling so like I've sold three things for this month 11 in January 11 in February but what it really can show me is like when I run an ad or something what's working and what's not so if I run an ad I can tell okay on that day I ran a Twitter ad on this date and I sold four albums in comparison to zero or one which was my average for most days so I know that Twitter is working on other days I ran Facebook ads and pretty much didn't get anything so January was mostly Facebook I think and then February was Twitter no that's not true so January was Twitter, and then I ran one late, and then the rest of the month was all Facebook. So I know Facebook did a little bit, but not as well as Twitter. So I just wanted to show that to you. So if you are interested in uploading your own MP3s, that is a highly recommended way to do it. And... I am back now, and I just wanted to show that to you guys for those of you who are interested. And the other thing that I wanted to say was that, uh, ooh, that picture looks looked crappy there for a while. Okay, uh, I wanted to ask you a question and ask you for comments below. When do you watch ASMR? This is the question I've been asking everybody. What time of the day? Are there certain days of the week that you watch more? Uh, I tend to watch, I have realized that I have very abnormal ASMR viewing tendencies. 
I watch in the morning because I watch while I work. I don't watch. I listen while I work. And then I sometimes listen in the evening. Uh, but most of my listening is in the morning now. It used to be more in the evening when I first found ASMR. But now it's to keep me calm while I work. Uh, and it's if I have insomnia. I will listen to relax, but I can't fall asleep to ASMR videos, and I'm very jealous for the many of you who can. So I want to know what when you guys listen to it, and if you listen to ASMR to sleep or not, and if you fall asleep, do you listen all night? I'm just curious because I can't fall asleep to it. And it seems like most people listen to it to fall asleep and then turn it off or set it so that it's only for a 20 minute or 40 minute video. And hopefully they'll fall asleep during that time. So I'm very curious. I am also curious if any of you have Amazon tap. I'm thinking of getting one and I'm thinking it would be wonderful for ASMR for me, especially because I listen, I don't watch. So I guess it's a speaker and you tap it to turn it on and you talk to it and it will play Spotify and iTunes and things from your phone. And I'm just curious if any of you guys have it. I do have an affiliate link on my website because it just seems so perfect for ASMR. If you could like half wake up and just say stop and turn it off. Uh, plus we have we're a house of musicians and we seem to have no speakers other than like our laptops anymore. We have, we have two, but it's a big process to hook it up. So, cause we have to hook, up, hook it up through our computers. So I'm just curious if any of you guys have that. And then I want to do a guided meditation uh, for those of you who are trying to run a business and be successful. And I'm going to start off with some bergamot. So do reach out to me on Facebook and we can hopefully connect and see how you guys are doing. And I'll keep you updated on how things are going with me. You know, I want you to just get comfortable and we'll see where this intuitive meditation takes us. Take a few deep breaths. And close your eyes. And I want you to picture yourself standing in a train station. There are trains all around, all going to different places. And you look up at the board for where the trains are going. And instead of cities, it is all different goals that you might set. So one train might go to health, one train might go to relationships, it may even be more specific. One train might go to finances, or removal of debt, whatever. goal you may be setting or seeking and those that others may be seeking too and some may seem very specific as if they were written just for you but right now I want you to pick just one destination And I want you to walk up to the ticket seller and if 
you want, you may ask the ticket seller how long it will take to get to your destination. Or you can leave that up in the air. I want you to purchase your ticket. And I want you to walk towards the train you have decided to board. And your train is there waiting. What does the train look like? Is it new? Is it shiny? Is it beat up? Is it does it look like an old slow train or a fast bullet train? No judgment, just take a look. And walk on to the train and find your seat. It may be in your own sleeping room, or it may be on an uncomfortable plastic seat, or it may be somewhere you choose to sit, like the dining car or a viewing room, or there may even be a lounge, but find your seat. And soon you hear the sounds of the train starting to leave the station. And as the train leaves the station, someone comes to join you where you are sitting. This is a guide for you to help you on this journey. And not just to help you, but to support you and to keep you entertained and keep you motivated and just someone to spend the time with. If this is a new guide to you, you may ask their name. And you may ask them any questions about your journey that you have starting off. You may ask for the first step you need to take. You may ask how to stay motivated. You may ask how to stay calm and stress-free, whatever your worries are about this journey. Your guide takes your hand and you know that they will be there to support you. Anytime you close your eyes, you may picture your guide and ask them any question you need to know or even just get a hug for support. Thank your guide 
and rise from your seat just to walk a ways down the train. Looking out the windows, seeing how fast or slow the train is moving at this point. And feeling contentment that comes with having started. The train ride may be long, but you've started on your way. And there may be stops along the way, but that doesn't mean that the train won't keep going. And I want you to hear the sounds around your physical body. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Open your eyes. And that, my friends, is your success meditation for today. And I will keep you updated on my journey, and I hope you will keep me updated on yours. So thank you so much. Do leave a comment below about how you listen to ASMR videos and how you like the, the business talk. And I will check in with you guys again soon. Okay, I love you. Take care. Take the business breakthrough challenge. Even if you decide, even if it helps solidify that you never want to run a business. <laughs> okay, bye guys.